welcome back to another basics game maker studio tutorial and today we're gonna finish the riddle of diagonal movement why it's faster and uh, how we can actually change that for top down games so it works pretty sweet the way it should be so if you're up for the in quotations challenge stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing so to go into the theory basically we got our dude walking around and he has a well, uh, h speed which is the horizontal one and the vertical one as you can see minus values if you go left uh, we go right we go plus values and then the same for downwards plus values for the vertical speed and minus if we are going upwards but let's say if we are going diagonal as you can see we're pretty much speeding up like crazy and this is a thing which we want to avoid alrighty so let's jump right into the code kind of easy so first of all uh, let's get rid of that and let's get rid of that so actually you see the whole process so first of all we're just getting our keyboard inputs this should be a standard a lot of videos actually do that and then a lot of videos also do that just separating the horizontal and vertical and then if we for example say like hey our right input from our keyboard minus our left can have a result of a minus value zero if nothing is pressed or one if we're going to the right and this one of course going to the left same thing for the vertical so up and down movement then minus if we are going upwards zero if we are not pressing any of those keys so the up or the down key and then uh, if we're going downwards well the value is one and then we can set those things to the, here we go the, um, our end result horizontal speed which is then here and then for example we can multiply it with a walk speed if we like so for example what i do here is just have a normal speed value this is of course then up to you how fast you want to move so normal speed times the value which can be just a zero minus one or one so zero then we don't have any movement because the end result is zero minus one we go to the left with this speed and plus one uh, we go to the right one with this speed and the same for y and of course the last thing which is then updating our current position so plus equals our end result horizontal speed our end result vertical speed of course for this uh, for now it's actually not changing the issue of our um, diagonal one but how can we actually do this kind of easy so first of all we need to establish a, well a vertical speed value which is not the normal one because we are going too fast going diagonal so uh, we just call it then di speed diagonal copy paste because i'm kind of lazy and then we just multiply it with uh, 0.0.7 here we go and this works actually pretty good and then what we can actually do is just have a check so saying like hey if we are pressing left or right so for example if our horizontal value is not equal to zero so for example we are definitely pressing left or right and and here's the end we are definitely pressing up or down so if those both conditions are met then we are pretty much moving diagonal because well we this is then uh, how the movement is defined and then we just uh, can actually uh, take this over of course kill the var because we don't need that and then say like hey times our diagonal speeds and then we just go like else hey actually we are just pressing no button so none of those keyboard presses or we are uh, pressing maybe left or maybe right or maybe both we can actually do that and or we are just pressing up or down or maybe both if we are uh, funky then we can actually do that also so basically then this is then uh, our normal speed and then of course here we set it to zero and this is basically the whole thing so once again getting our inputs from our keyboard setting that to a horizontal or vertical value which just goes between which can be just minus one zero or one then this one is then the end result and then we just distinguish hey are we going diagonal if not we are going with a normal speed and if we are going diagonal we are going with a diagonal speed and this is working pretty fine 
and that is it and of course we apply here all right and then as you can see pretty good as yeah so this is working and we are not going on hyperdrive when we are going diagonal so that is pretty good of course there's a, another video which is doing that with square root and so on yeah <laughs> link in the description below you can check this out uh, if you like but for most applications the 0 0.7 something something value is actually good enough for us Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up in.